The Milan Motorcycle Show is approaching next week and Triumph are expected to launch a 1200cc version of the Street Twin called the Speed Twin. A few photos of the new bike have already surfaced on Instagram, so in this video we're going to take a look at them and see what we can decipher. Triumph has two versions of its 1200cc Bonneville motor, the High Power, which is used on the new 1200 Scrambler and the Thruxton, and High Torque, which is used on the T120 and Bobber. The difference between the two is that the High Power has about 10 to 15 more horsepower depending on the tune, but the High Torque motor delivers its peak torque much lower down at about 3000 revs. This is usually denoted on the Bonneville engine badge with either HT or HP, but none of the photos that I've seen are high res enough to make it out and I've read conflicting reports about the Speed Twin elsewhere. But overall the bike has a sporty look to it and some sporty Pirelli Diablo Rosso 3 tyres from the looks of the markings, so it seems as though the bike is intended to be used at a fair clip and I would therefore assume it will be running the high power version of the Bonneville engine. The twin clocks including a rev counter also hint that the bike is intended to be revved a bit more than some of the high torque models that use a single speedo like the bobber. The tyres offer another clue as well, if you check the Pirelli website for sizes you'll see that the front is only offered in a 17 inch for the Diablo Rosso 3 which is a departure from the Street Twins more retro looking 18 inch front wheel. That's another indication that Triumph intend this bike to be a slightly more sporty ride as the smaller front wheel should sharpen up the handling and it will also as a secondary benefit to owners offer a greater choice of tyres as 18 inch fronts are fairly limiting. It's hard to say just from the photos whether there have been any other attempts to improve the handling over the Street Twin, but it doesn't look like the Speed Twin will have the high spec Olin shocks and shower upside down forks that the 1200 Scrambler has. However, the 2019 Street Twin has been announced to have improved cartridge forks, so I'd expect at least as good internals on the Speed Twin, if not better. Most of Triumph's 1200 bikes run twin discs up front and the Speed Twin is no exception. The brakes look identical to the four pop Brembo calipers on floating discs just announced for the 2019 second generation Street Twin, although that bike only has a single disc. I'm not the only Street Twin owner to say that the brakes are a little bit lacklustre, so this could be a welcome change. I recently test rode a Moto Guzzi V7 Stone, which uses a very similar looking Brembo caliper on a single disc, and the braking felt much better than my Street Twin, far more progressive, so I'd expect a pair of these up front to be a huge improvement. In terms of aesthetics, the Speed Twin looks like it borrows parts from all over the Triumph Modern Classic range. The silencers with black bodies and brushed steel tips look similar to the street cups and the street cup sounds awesome with the stock pipes. So I'll assume that this will sound even better with the extra 300cc. The headlight bracket looks the same as the one found on the street cup or the Thruxton. The sprocket cover looks the same as the one on the Thruxton 2 and that again is a welcome improvement over the existing sprocket cover on the Street Twin which looks a little bit plain. Twin clocks come from the Thruxton T120, T100 or Street Cup and there are also some similar touches to the new 1200 Scrambler like the brushed aluminium fenders, Monza style fuel cap and a similar tail light. And the cast wheels even remind me of those used on the totally modern Street Triple. There are some new parts specific to this bike like the side panels, throttle body covers and hill guards, but overall I think they've combined some really nice parts from across the range to bring something that has a similar overall silhouette to the Street Twin, but with a more serious and sporty looking style, and a few people have described it as half Street Twin, half Thruxton, which I think is pretty much spot on. As with all new bikes at the moment, it looks like there's going to be a whole range of aftermarket custom parts, and we can see in the photos that the red bike appears to be stock, whereas the one with the silver tank has a bunch of custom parts like Triumph's LED turn signals, a bench seat, the optional Vance and Heinz silencers from the Thruxton, and a slightly fancier looking headlight bezel. The reaction from around the web and social media is really positive to this bike as far as I can tell, especially with regards to the looks, 
But actually, anyone who's ridden or owned a street twin and found the performance to be a little bit underwhelming in terms of power and the braking, you know, for them, this might be the perfect solution. Personally, I can't wait to have a sit on one. Yeah. 